Hi. In the past few tutorials, we've been uh, getting used to using the get element by ID method. Um, and we're going to do use that again today in this tutorial, but we're also going to start using some forms. Um, now, forms are part of HTML where you can use different text input boxes, um, check boxes, radio buttons, um, drop down lists, and then a button to submit or clear your form. So in this tutorial we're going to use a form to basically allow the user to enter in their name and then it will take their name and display a welcome message. Okay, so there's a few different parts to this um, tutorial but firstly you do need a bit of a basic understanding of HTML and a bit of a basic understanding of how to use forms in HTML. If you don't know how to use forms in HTML then just pay attention I'll give you a little bit of an intro to that, but I suggest um, going off and um, having a look at some other tutorials which explain how to use forms as well, so that it's um, maybe easier to follow. Okay, so to start with, we have in the script section of our page, we have a function, and then in the body um, section, so that the script section is in the head, the head, so the script section is in the head section of the page. And then down here in the body section of the page, we have our form. Okay. Now, with the function, the function is called write name, and inside that function, there's two local variables being declared. First one is called welcome message or welcome msg, and that is equal to document dot get element by id, and then the id is welcome. So if you have a look in the body section of the page. The first thing in the body section is a paragraph with an ID of welcome. And the paragraph is actually empty to begin with. So there's no text in between those two angle brackets. So it's an empty paragraph with an ID of welcome and it's ready to be filled in with a welcome message. The next variable is called name and that's equal to document.getElementById and the ID is name. Now, if we scroll down to the form, there is a form with a question, what is your name? And then the input type that's being used for this form is text. So it's just a text box input with an ID of name. Okay. And then below that, there's another input, which is a button. And the action, um, or the, the value of the button, so what the word that's actually written on top of the button is submit. And the action that takes place, the on-click event, is the write name function will be run, which is up here. Okay, so the form has a text box where you can enter in your name. It has an ID of name, and then below that is a submit button, which runs the on-click event of write name, which is this whole function here. All right, so what will happen is you'll enter in your name in the text box, and then it will replace the empty paragraph above the form with a welcome message. And basically the welcome message, if we go back to the function, is um, it's equal to welcome plus name value and then plus a full stop and a break. So welcome message dot in HTML, what will actually go here in the paragraph, has a string that says welcome and then it will append or um, join the name value, which will be whatever you entered in the text box in the form with the ID name. And then it will add a full stop. All right, so let's test this. All right, so we've got a uh, text box here. It's asking, "What is your name?" Submit. All right. Oops. When I, as soon as I clicked on submit, it had this welcome message with my name added on the end. All right. Now that's quite handy to use when when you're using forms. You might want to use um, something like that. Okay, but the problem here is that the form is still down the bottom here. All right, now we, we might just want to get rid of the form altogether, display the welcome message, and then display our other content below that. We don't need the form anymore. So if we go back to the code, and this time we'll go to um, slightly modified form, uh, code, what we've added here is a new variable called form content, which is equal to document.getElementById. And the ID is enter name. If we scroll back down to the form, 
before it was just um, form like that but I've added an ID to this form which is called enter name so variable form content is equal to dot get document dot get element by ID and it's using that ID enter name all right and then the welcome message stays there and the other thing that I've added is this here so form content dot in HTML equals and then it's just an empty string there's nothing inside those quotation marks so it will basically replace the form with an empty string so it removes the form the text input box and the submit button once it's been submitted it displays the welcome message with the name and then nothing below it there's no form anymore All right, so if we run that okay so same deal into your name click submit and now it just says welcome my name and then the form has disappeared because we no longer need it okay so basically that's how to use a document dot get element by ID to take input from a form and use it in your program so in this example we used it to add your name to a personalized welcome message and I've also shown you how to um, remove the form by um, adding an ID to the whole entire form to replace it with just an empty string. Okay, thanks for watching.